Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave, and today I've got two really good pump controllers to show you. So recently I was contacted by Spring Europe Limited. Uh, they're a company that's been going over 50 years now, making all sorts of stuff, but over the last few years they've really concentrated on their pump controllers. If you've seen my filter video, I'll put a link to it up here, I fit the V11 controller to control my membrane and that has been absolutely fantastic. That is the same company that has made these. So they've reached out to me, they've sent me two controllers and asked me to show them to you. The two controllers are the V11 basic controller and the WFP link controller. Now you might, if you've been on the market recently for a water fed pole pump controller you'll have probably have seen these. Might not have been marked up the same as these but this company make them from a, for a lot of different people. I think they make them for gripper, I think they make them for gardener, I think they make them for the cleaning uh, warehouse. There's quite a few. Uh, the window cleaning warehouse always have, also have them but when they have them, they have them made and they got their own logos and everything on the controllers. So a lot of people are using these pumps. Uh, in the box, you've got on the basic, you've got the control, the instructions. You've got the controller here. It already comes pre-wired. Uh, it's a really nice quality controller. You can really feel that as soon as you, you look at it. Uh, there's a little return button and an up and down button there. You've got all your wires that you need. They already come with bullet connectors on them. So that makes wiring up a lot easier. You've also got a bag with connectors and a fuse holder. Now make sure you put the fuse holder in, that is really important. The other box is a bit more interesting bigger box and this is the WFP link. Now when you open this up, a bit of packing in it, you've got your instructions the same as the other one, you've got a bit more packing. Now this is the controller for the WFP link one. It's got an aerial on top of it. Uh, this is remote control, radio control. Uh, again really nice construction, comes wired with your uh, bullet connectors already on it. You've also got this. This is your fob for controlling your pump. So when you're out, got a little fob there that connects around your neck. Uh, and this is amazing what this can do. This can increase your flow up and down, uh, you can set your dead end with it, you can change your dead end, you can turn your pump on and off, there's so many things that uh, you can do with this. Uh, it all comes with your cables, all the cables that you need there, again fitted with bullet connectors and also your fuse holder comes in with that as well. So on the paper that's wrapped around the fob holder, there's all the instructions there for downloading the app. Now you say, why do I need the app? Well, get the app on your phone, really simple to do, doesn't cost you anything, and you can change the different settings on your fob. So that makes that really, really useful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on charge, I'm gonna fit this in the van, and I'm gonna try it and see how we get on. So I've actually had the uh, pumps fitted for a few months now since I started making the video. Uh, sorry to spring for the delay of that, but you know, family circumstances and things uh, st stop you sometimes. But uh, yeah, so but because it's been so long, I've actually got to use the pumps, to use the controllers, and really know how they uh, how they work. And they have been absolutely fantastic. How well does the WFP link work when you're away from the van? Well, let's have a go. First of all, I'll pull the hose out for 100 metres and in a straight line and see if it'll turn it on and off. There's 100 metres of hose pulled out off the hose reel, all but a couple of foot. So let's go 100 metres away in a straight run and see if the link still works. So we can see 
100 meters from the van and we'll see if the link's still working. And press the button. Because the green light comes on, you can tell that it's still within range. And there you are, the water starts. Turn it off, it takes a few seconds to die down, but it's definitely working at 100 meters from the van. The WFP link still works. On. So that was absolutely fantastic. Pulled out at 100 meters. Well, it's actually over 100 meters because there's my pole hose on it as well. So pulled out at that distance uh, and a straight run from the back of the van, no problem at all, over 100 meters. And the WFP worked, no problem at all. Turned it on and off, no bother. But what about if we go around the back of the house? Well, let's have a look. So again, that was no problem at all around the back of an ordinary house. But does it still work if you're around the back of a building? Well, we've got a four storey building here, block of flats are clean, so let's go and try it. even with a four-storey building, the WFP link still works. So the WFP works really, really well. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Is there any way that I'd think of improving it? Well, you do lose a bit of range when you've got the back doors of the van shut. So I think the only way I'd think of improving it is to get the aerial and maybe put it on a little mag mount, sort of CB style. So you could put it on the top of the van um, when you've got your back door shut. Uh, you could just have the cable coming in and shut the doors on the cable. Uh, but a little mag mount would make sure that the uh, aerial stayed on the outside of the van for when you got your back doors uh, shut. Maybe have some way of mounting the uh, the fob onto your pole so you're not having to search around your neck. But um, th it's, that's nothing, that's a, a minor, minor thing. Uh, it doesn't distract from the quality and the uh, usage, how easy it is to use uh, of the uh, link. So as I said, I've been using it for a couple of months, absolutely fantastic. Both of them have been bomb proof, no problems at all with either of them. Um, the main plate, would I buy one of these as a domestic? If you were doing just domestic, maybe not so much, maybe just get the basic. If you're using, say, Onyx Hydropoles, where there's no univalve, uh, then maybe uh, get the WFP link, or maybe if you're doing more uh, commercial stuff. I do a factory where I go uh, only three or four times a year, but quite often loads of seagull poo on it, and you need to give it a really good rinse. So I could be 50, 80 meters from the van. I can just hit the boost button and rinse down the windows really easily. So yeah, really good piece of kit, um, really enjoyed using it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.